Hey maths teachers, welcome. In this video, I want to discuss with you how you can create math assessment using Desmos. And I have prepared one assessment template for you all and you can make use of it. You can definitely edit and add new things in order to customize this template. So let's get started. I would walk you through what this assessment template has already in place and then what are the things you can edit according to your in this template students will be able to see questions uh, which may have graph or images and i will guide you how you can add it to those things and uh, they can submit their responses and desmos will auto mark these questions for you last screen will be available for you to see their scores or total scores so let's see what type of questions I have prepared for you and how you can edit those. So first of all, this is the first page. You can edit these instructions. And I have added this instruction that to uh, upload some images so that students, if they're working on a paper, they can upload images of their working steps. So let's see the first question. So the first question is about, for example, this is y is proportional to x. If y is 18, x is 6. Enter the value of y when x is 3. So my purpose of creating this type of question is that student will be able to enter response in terms of a number. Number, for example, 3 or 6 or 9. In this question, the answer is 9. And I'm going to submit this. I have given this flexibility for your students that they can edit their responses if they want otherwise it is submitted second question is about something like algebra because in a test you may ask students to enter questions about uh, algebraic expressions like in this question it is a to the power 4 and they can if they want to use the keypad they can so they have there are alphabets on abc functions here and on the main page, they can use powers, subscript, or fractions, modulus, square roots, everything. So if they don't want, that's fine. They can use their laptop keypad. So this is also submitted. So first question was about number. Second question about algebraic expression. Third question, again, about the algebraic expression, because most of the time we have... Uh, uh, the questions with algebraic expressions. So for example, here I have added x power 4 minus 1 and submitted. Question 4, this is the last question for this template. I have added one graph and uh, there are two parts of this question. So here, students are going to drag points to set up a line for 2x minus 3. So they will be able to drag these points and they can finally submit it. No matter it is correct or incorrect, it is going to record their response once they click on this button. So submit part A, done. Then only they will be able to see part B. And now they can enter the answer for this part as well. So for example, in this question, 2x minus 3 or 4, the question says y-intercept is positive 3. Done. They are not able to edit it. So, all done. Let's see the report. So here, thank you message. Here, they will be having a space to upload their working steps if you are asking them. Otherwise, you can exclude it. Next screen will have their scores. Look, 2, 2, 2. So there are 8 out of 10 marks in this category. So we can see which question was went wrong. For example, in this question, question 4 has 4 marks but other questions have two marks. Now, you have seen this template and you can see this, that how different types of questions students can, uh, you can ask to your students. And now let's walk you, let me walk you through about the steps if you want to edit this or these questions, because I'm sure you are not gonna ask these kind of questions in every test, right? So let's go. Uh, so I'm going to share this link with you. You will have it. So once you receive this link, I'm going to put in the uh, captions. You can see it. So once you have this link, just click on these three dots. 
So once you see these three dots, click on it. There are two options for you. You can share this activity or make a copy and edit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a copy and edit because this is what you are going to see when you see my template. So copy and edit. Click. Here you go. If you're not aware, so if you go to teacher.desmos, dot desmos and you should be on the home page of teacher desmos because uh, sometimes if you're not aware where you can add it sometimes it is going to ask you to sign in so i'm showing you this home page of desmos classroom and here i'm signed in already so if you're not signed in this won't let you add it so make sure you are signed in. So let's come back. I'm here and as I told you, this is just the image I have added. You can delete this and you can click on media, add another image if you like. So second thing, I have added a note where I have added these instructions. There are only four questions, time, whatever things you want to add, you can just edit this. Once you're done with this, go to the next page question one now every question has two components one is from the note category second is the math response box so this is the math response box if you want to add you can but I have added these two components for all the questions so the flexibility is you can change this question whatever you like and then once you're done with your question because Desmo, if you want, Desmos should auto mark your test, right? So you have to be doing some little work for your test. So just click on this green uh, settings because this is called computation layer in Desmos. Just click here and here you have every detail. Yeah, what I would recommend, do not try to change anything above but you can just change here what is the answer for example let me change if y is x is 2 right then answer is going to be 6 right so let me just go here and change my answer so i'm going to change the answer to 6 and how many marks i want to give to this particular question so you can give 3 marks 2 marks whatever you like so let's say let's keep it 2 so these two things you have to change once you are done, and I, I can show you quickly. So if you enter nine now, this is the teacher dashboard thing. You're gonna see the student has done incorrectly. But if you enter six, then yes, it is, it is gonna accept your answer as correct. You will know immediately that the student has entered correct answer. Yeah, some students just try to play like this that's also fine like y equals to six if they don't want to but you can explicitly mention it that do not enter something right so that is going to help your students and you to streamline your test and if you think i want to replicate this question because i'm going to ask a similar question on this what you have to do just click on preview and copy this screen copy and click on plus because this is going to create empty screen for you control v or paste so just paste everything will work fine but as i said this is a template it is you have to tweak a little bit so if you notice in the first question my response box has a name r1 if you repeat same then my template is not going to work so you have to change it right now. Let me just delete it for a while. Then I can add again if required. So if you see my question two, I have R2. Question three has R3. Question four has R4. So these are unique names I have given because I'm collecting data on my last screen here. Look, R1, R2, R3, R4. So if you make a replica, a replica of any screen, make sure you have to change those things as well as answer and then finally come to the last page to edit. 
So anyways, let's go to the question number two. Let's say you are okay with the first question uh, and you can change it here as well. Let's say you want to ask something related to numbers, just change it. And if the question has some response as numbers, then you can go here and make a copy of this code and paste in that computation layer. But because this screen is prepared for algebra, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click here and what I have prepared for you that you can choose the variable. For example, you may ask a variable in X, so you can change it into X, everything will work fine. What is your answer? So the variable power four or what? So in this case, it was a power four, right? Let's say if you have changed it to three here, then it is going to be a power two only, right? So you can go here and just change this number to two and you can change the score as well. Variable X or A, whatever you like. So keep it. So only these three things you have to change. As I said, variable, answer and score. That's it. You are done with this question. Let's see it if it is going to accept a power 2 or not. Look, a power 2 is correct. If you do a power 4, it is going to be incorrect. I hope you get this idea how you can edit these things using this template. Question 3 again in the algebraic form. And if you want to change it, you can. So, as I said, do not change anything above, it is already done for you. You can decide what is your variable and what is your expression. For example, if we change it to x power 3, x power 3, right? And then it has to be x power 6. So here I have just given x. So if you want, you can change it. Nothing else you have to do. So it's all done. And as I said, you can change number of marks so that it is going to be reflecting on the last page. So done. Question one, two, three are done. Now question four, which has two parts. One is geometry, like a graph of line and, and entering the response in terms of equation. So if you see here, this question, you will see first part was about the slope, right? Submit and then the, the dragging points are gone. If you think, no, 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 I don't want, I want my students to see it and then change it if they want. So you can keep it like that. So they can change it, submit, and then they are gonna enter their answer here. If they can enter in Y, two X plus three, whatever they like, right? And then they can submit part B as well. So done. And then here you can give a thank you message. And if you like, you can ask them to upload their images of their working steps. Next, you can see the scores. I haven't entered anything for other questions, but you can see here. Now, the problem is, um, most of you will be wondering that, no, I don't want four questions. I want 10 questions in my exam. Don't worry what you have to do. You have to just be a little bit careful. As I said, you can make a replica of the exam style question from this template. For example, this is about the number response, right? Question two and three were for algebra. right and question four was with two parts let's say you want to get rid of this you only want to discuss uh, these type of questions question one two three maybe more with the numbers i'm going to create one question for you in just to create in numbers so that you know what so in order to create any question with only numbers what you have to do, just go to that question style. For example, this is in the number, but this is for the algebra. So don't make copy of this, rather make copy of numbers. So go to preview and click on this, copy this screen by control C or just click here. 
click plus to have empty screen and then use control V or just paste so that you have a screen as soon as you make a copy you're gonna see these warning signs so you see this because as I said the referencing is getting duplicated so it's R1 because R1 was already taken therefore you have to make these changes so let me show you what changes you have to do I have already done those changes just to keep this video short I'm gonna just delete this so what I have done I made a copy and used R5 for you because it's a fifth question and you can change this question let's say I'm gonna just solve one equation in X so you can just type solve and you just use this uh, thing in order to type anything in math type math I'm gonna just see 3x plus 6 equals to 21 and if you solve this the answer is going to be 21 minus 6 15 over 3 is 5 so I have to change my answer I'll go here in the edit computation layer change my answer 5 to 5 whichever the answer is score you have to give it but the only thing what I want to remind you because when you make a duplicate of any question like this you are you have to change things like the total sum R1 these things only so that's what I, I'm gonna show you here what I have changed so look at this so total sum 4 which I am getting from my first four screens my first four questions so R4 is for that total sum 4 is coming from previous four questions now total sum 5 is when check 5 because in other questions it is check 1 check 2 check 3 check 5 so when you change it you have to make those changes so if you think no it's not clear go back to any screen let me just show you on screen number 3 so look at this check 3 and total sum 2 total sum 3 so when you make a copy you have to make those changes so let me just do it for you for let's say one more question so that you know what I have to do so just go to click preview make a copy click on plus and just do this and you can change this question let's say it's 2 and 23 because then you can change the answer so the answer is going to be what seven I think yeah it's not answer five it is answer six but we forgot to change the reference it should be R6 right so now everything will be fine so wherever you have answer five and score six you have you will see these red lines and here you can change these so look I'm gonna check change this check six check six r6 answer 6 right here as well r6 where else look it's total sum 4 now it should go back total sum 5 r5 and total sum 5 total sum 6 is the new one when check 6 means when this question is correct then only I should add the number which is score 6 in previous score total sum 5 otherwise it should remain total sum 5 yeah and once you have made those changes you have to make one change in the last screen as well because last screen is consolidating this so I'm just gonna add question 6 here go to this competition layer right and make a copy of this last thing paste change this row seventh because it is for question number six this must be r6 check six because this is only going to show the correct marks if the answer is correct how we are checking answer is correct using these things check six check five etc here also you have to change chain r6 score 6 otherwise it should be 0 
and in order to make the total score as well just add this as well so plus r6 and score 6 uh, this is suffix it's like let me show you if you see the preview it's coming out of two out of two right so i want to give that as well so one thing i forgot to change total number of questions is six let me just change it to total number of questions look if i change one thing i have to change everywhere so that it can fetch the values correctly and in order to do the suffix i have to just make a copy of this and paste change the row seven r6 score six that's it so you keep on doing this for any question you add let's see the preview look out of 14 total marks are 14 and you got zero so let's see whether if we attempt these questions correctly i think the answer is six in this question yeah let's go a power two yes right x power six minus one just to validate right i'm just gonna verify this so bring it here submit i think it was 2x plus 3 question 5 it was x equals to 5 and in the next one i think let's make a mistake here yeah so look i should get 12 out of 14 because my last question was wrong but if you go back and you want to change it you should see your 14 out of oh it's 12 out of 14 i think we just made one error somewhere so we can check that why it is not adding up okay so check six check six yes there is a mistake look cell content one where the total scores are visible it should be total some six i think we haven't added that let me go to screen six sorry where is my question six here yeah it's total sum six total sum six it is there go here and just verify oh uh, yeah it should be r6 right now it should be correct so if if you just attempt some questions let's say seven look two out of 14 right if you do all correct then you will get 14 out of 14 so the last reminder what i'm going to help you because this is the last screen you have to change total number of questions and the first one let me just separate this from everything this is what i have added for the total scores obtained so this is going to reflect how many scores you your student are going to get from this test and what this is doing this is actually making sure in a sheet you have scores question wise and what this is doing this is just saying that out of if you want to get rid just delete this you don't need to do this but if you want to keep it keep on adding these lines of codes and you will be fine with that i hope you can make best use of this and keep editing these questions let's keep question five six seven as as you like if you want to delete any question for example you want to completely get rid of this make sure you get rid of everything of those things in my last screen let's say if you want to go away with r4 right so you go here and delete everything with r4 so it is r4 here disable it by just using the hashtag right or you just delete it and make sure there are dependencies so for example r4 was coming from score number four etc so you make those changes uh, wherever you have seen those things let's say here look this is coming from r4 so if you want to make those changes you have to get rid of those things i know i'm asking you a little bit extra but 
these are important things even though this is the template so yeah i hope you will get some help from this i'm going to share this with you i'll just delete this rename it let's say this is your version additive yeah done and another note just uh, click this if you want to have your students to access with calculator one more thing which i'm going to show you right now just last thing let's say your activity is ready right and you can assign this activity to your students let me just assign this so that i can show you uh, okay go ahead created invited code so you go to your dashboard teacher dashboard i mean it's gonna load a few seconds let's just wait yeah almost there cross what you should be taking care of pace please click on this button pace uh, click on this question this is the instruction screen and this is your last screen because you i know you don't want to reveal scores immediately after the test to your students so just restrict it this is gonna help your students not to see marks but as a teacher you will be able to see marks for every student who whosoever is gonna join your activity uh, when you edit this activity stop you can move these thank yous screens thank you screen and the upload screen before the result screen because i have moved it uh, just after the last question so you can just move it wherever you want and if you think you want to limit your activity for a timing so you can use this pause button let's say you started your exam at nine o'clock in the morning and you want to finish at 9 40 so what do you do 9 40 click on pause now wherever students are they are going to just stop working because pause button is not going to let any student to edit or redo any question so this is going to accept whatever they have done so this is the best practice to use pause and pace yeah and if you think you want to give five minutes to every question then again pacing is really good so let's say you want to restrict page one and page two for five minutes after five minutes you can just click on plus button then student can access question two after five minutes they can access question four after five minutes like this so you can control timing like this as well yeah that's really helpful i hope you are gonna make use of it i'm gonna share this find it in the captions thank you so much